Well, good morning. Checking on this old bin at Grind. It is what? It's actually pretty early for me. It's 10 after 7. filled up this morning get the baler ready to go going to town for uh well for the morning to this meeting thing explain about government grants that that are going on and just a bunch of other stuff like that so We'll do that this morning, come back after noon and start combining. And hopefully baling. We'll hopefully get all the oats combined and the straw bale. Wouldn't that be wild? Isn't morning beautiful? Isn't it? It's starting to become more of a morning person. What's up, Willow? How are you, huh? Mm. I'm gonna go get the tractor that's over there loading bales. Gonna take it to the farm, hook up to the Vermeer baler so we can bale straw. So I get to walk through this, we'll call it cover crop field. We had seeded our herbal lay in here, which I think it's growing. There's some clover. I'm not as impressed with it. Oh, there's some grass stuff. It might be common. We should have just seeded it with the drill like we did this. Oats, barley, triticale, peas, tillage radish, Japanese millet cover crop. Because this is like, it throws pretty hard for quite a while. And this, uh, and this stuff is still kicking. It's something about having a crop that's this bushy and green and mist strips and beautiful in the fall. It's, it's freaking beautiful. Like, you can see the poor parts of the field that are like a fair bit of compaction thin right there. Mm. That's either canola or tillage radish. That's tillage radish. That almost might be canola. Maybe not. <laughs> Beautiful rose, thick. Oh, end of the line, see it, dogs. Oh, I almost tripped on the step. Geez, I'm clumsy this morning. Maybe I'm just clumsy all the time. What? We're low on coolant again. Oh, we fixed that problem. We as in, not me. Huh. Oh well. Something about morning. <laughs> Ooh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Let's hook this thing up. We have to go to town for a meeting. Bail some straw. Look at the, look at my big shaft. We had, you guys a thousand PTO on this tractor for doing something, I don't know what. So we gotta put 540 on it. So hopefully you can see. Gotta undo the snap ring. Freaking oil everywhere. Sometimes it's easy. Now put oh, putting it in is the harder one. This ready. Let you drain off there. Now the tricky part is 
put in this thing back on. Uh, it can be a bit of a bear. What the heck? Wow. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. I'm sure there's better pliers for this. Come on. Ah, oh, look at that. Woohoo. Is falling out when it's running. <sighs> yeah, looks like it's in. Good. Now put this other big shaft back in the shop. Ready to go almost. All right. Take the tarps off the stuff. Oh, Ming is required. Well, I was gonna do that anyways. Still got lots of def, Trudeau juice. Good for fuel. That's gonna be a good day. Let's go do some bailing. Dad's started combining. I was going to start but I had uh, some issues with the baler tractor and whatnot. So, hello. So yeah, I'm going to do start baling. I'm going to bale slews that I cut, hay, and then by then dad will probably be working on the straw. We're going to chop a little more on the light land, drop the low land. We're gonna get the oats done today. And I think that's where our rain's coming from. We're supposed to be getting some rain, and I think that's where it's coming. So we'll get these oats combined. We'll get these bales baled. It's gonna be a good friggin' day. Then all we'll have left is barley and mustard. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Got our soft core on. Our density, yeah, let's go down to 58. Two and a half wraps of net for the hay. Bale density is at six, so go with that. Soft core engaged, because it's going to be tough. Now let's go down a little, up a little. <laughs> Oop. Bail something. All right, let's make hay. There we go. We got the hay done. Got like 13 bales. And now we're on straw. Look at that. Woo! Making time. Combine's making time. And look at that, rain's coming. Let's kick it up another gear. Whee! It's our buckets falling down. What the heck? He's full. Look at that. <laughs> the oats are yielding.
my stupid thing. This tractor. Computer issues. Perfect drone footage, combining, feeling, all at the same time. to dump the truck he was combining nice baling baling's caught up I think we got like 20 bales already some pretty good yielding baling bales bales whatever you know what I mean 13 hay bales out of like five acres of slough or uh, yeah and these oat bales, you'd freaking feed them. That's how good they are. Amazing stuff. Well, rain's coming. Buddy Byron in Barhead, he just got rained out. And it's coming this way, so. See if we can finish this last 10 acres. Yeah, I think that's 10 acres. Maybe 20 acres. Before it rains, which I'm pretty sure we'd be able to do that. Pretty darn sure. Yeah. Well, we'll go with that. should be burning quite a bit less uh yeah there's no chopper on we're dropping straw real speed yes this thing should be using quite a bit less power now that we got no uh whatchamacallit now we got no chopper on it as long as don't wipe out the back of the car there we go Lift this header up just a little bit. There's a ticking off swat here though. That's for sure. Mm, I love combine you know it's such big yields. We even got dust in the low spot here. Bales on this stuff, like I hit the same kind of stuff down there. Oh my word, it just See, there's three bales. Duk, 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 duk. Yes. Ugh. It's crazy. Well, you can tell the straw is still, still kind of tough here. But we also got a bit of grass from the edge. Woo! Rumble, rumble. Yeah. Think that's full? I don't know. Is that full? Yeah. Maybe that's full now. Yeah, we'll call that full. 
Now if the whole field was like this, lordy jumping. Oh, that is 14, I believe it's 14 feet. 13 or 14 feet. Nine belt Swathmaster. And that is taking up seven and a half at times. Seven and a half belt. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> It's a beautiful. And oh, by the way, this is the, the field average. You know, all those other little swaths I showed you, nah, that's just 2% just of the field. This is 98% of the field is like this. <laughs> I wish next year. Was you just look at that? Oh, the straw. The straw. Oh my, 1.8 miles an hour and that is, that's it, that's it, that is it. We're at like 50 to 70% power, you can feel it rumbling. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, didn't finish. Dad went and uh, for some reason saw a blob coming into the header and went to turn the header off and turned the whole combine off. And now the combine is plugged and it's raining. So Oats is not going to be finished. <sighs> not quite. Failing this though. At least it's got a reverser on the rotor, except it's so, so friggin' plugged. It was probably pretty close to full power when he uh, shut it off that uh, it was like fully loaded. And now, yeah, so. We got like five acres of oats left. So, yeah. That's all she wrote. So when you really plug one of these combines, like I'm talking like, like it's stiffer than, uh, it's stiffer than morning wood. You go into, your rotor and you got this you put it in first put in low range then you go here we got R and that so R for reverse and there's our little RPM gauge the top one is what it's supposed to run at and the bottom one is what it's actually running at so since this thing got plugged like I'm talking like Lexion stiff, like stiff as a Lexion, and when you plug a Lexion, it's stiff. So we sit here, since it's plugged, I'm talking good, and we uh, load our concave all the way, like as far as the concave will physically go, wide freaking open. But problem is, the wad, by the time everything got shut got inadvertently shut off the wad made it into the separator section which you can't lower unless you actually go unbolt it which mm, don't really want to do that yet keyword yet so we just go into our rotor and we'll go forward spin the 2 rpm then once the wad yeah, they're one, zero. And it's still kind of rumbling, but then you go to reverse. Two. Once you go down to between one and zero, then you go back to forward. And the key is you want to rock it, and you want to chew that lump up. 
because it's yeah you did a good job very good job so you want to chew it so you got to rock it back and forth and chew that lump and the water's dripping off the roof that's i was like yo get this unplugged maybe i'll just you know ram through that those few extra swaths there's no ramming through no swaths so sit here for you know i don't know however long and just back and forth back and forth no point in trying to to hit the switch and jump it or whatever because it is she is toast <laughs> wish me luck I'm going to be here a while and oh my case I can unplug that. Yeah, well, guess what? Case, they do the same thing. And I've driven Case combines, flagships with the reversers. And guess what? There was times I could not unplug the case from the with D slug. We had to go and uh, take straw out of the back end of it. Which, you know, can't really you can't really see it good enough to take straw out of this one you can look in there actually yeah actually you know what we'll go look in the back end of this thing here's our sibs here's our rotor so up here is that one Actually, no, this isn't the one. This is just this flap here. So, the wad is back in there somewhere. Good chance it's up there. So, we've just been kind of back and forth, back and forth. It was was up there but I think between rocking it back and forth we've now got it to where it's here yeah something like that good time to look at the elements on the rotor look at that the mint rotor still got paint on it yeah so what we can do since we've made it back here, we can pull all this crap out. I think that definitely part of the wad. Welcome to combining in Northeast Alberta in October. There's just so many pleasantries. Actually, that's our wad. You see the way up there? You probably can't see way up there. I see a nice solid mass of junk. So by pulling all this out, but that might not be the be all end all. That's gonna get us back in motion. So I'll go hop up in the cab. Reverse this again. Maybe back and forth in a bit. Yeah. Not sure if you can see, but that auger in there, you can tell if the combine's going forward or backward. And I finally just have the the forward mash, so it'll like try and like wrench its way through. And guess what? It's actually working. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of the window's dirty. But that's turning. Oh, we might have her. It's consistently 1 RPM. Consistently moving and it's moving the right way. It's moving forward. So it's slowly. Yeah. 
slowly making its way to the back. The lump's kind of chewed up, slash getting chewed up. Uh, I think there might be light at the end of the tunnel. Sort of, maybe. Possibly. All right, we're making serious headway now. See that auger spinning? Yeah, see there? For the last minute, we have been able to keep it move, spinning. Like right now you can feel combine's kind of shaking. The lump is kind of going over the grate or whatever. And now it's kind of stalled out. So we'll back it up. A half turn. Now we'll go forward. Alright. Oh, we gotta open our green tank. Let's open that up. Up, up, and away. Forgot you gotta have the lid open before you can run it, cause otherwise that'll fill up with grain rather quickly. I think. And look at that, it like quit raining. Maybe, it is a little wet, but maybe we could try to finish this stuff. All right, let's do this. Didn't quite do her. It was spinning nice and freely. So I don't quite get that. It's still spinning, but it just didn't have enough chooch. Yeah. Oh well. We'll keep, we'll just sit here, have our finger mashed to the mash to this uh, forward spin of methane and we'll just sit here for a few more minutes and it just spin itself out by slowly. Holy Moses Moose! It's going! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, chopper speed's low. Flush this stuff through it. Look, you look at that. We are working in. Yeah, look at that. Freaking A. Now, go look at swap. Maybe it's it quit raining. Hmm. Let's see. That is what came out. She has end of her. That's a lot of freaking straw. Holy cheapers. But she's all unplugged, good to go. Now if that was a John Deere, we'd be about two or three more hours. <laughs> yes, I have plugged a John Deere up and I've plugged a case up, even with the slug. And I plugged Lexion. And oh, the worst of them all was the Lexion. Second worst, it was a toss up between the John Deere and the case. 8230 case, 9870 John Deere. 
It's a toss up. We plugged 9870 took us an afternoon and the 8230 case took us an evening. So and this one took an hour of dinking around. So I'll take it. It's good now. And that's it for tonight. Quit raining. Of all the like and it's just just too wet. Or else I'd say heck with it. Let's go, but yeah. Another day.